Hey everyone, this is Lalo Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today I'm really, really, really happy to show you a recreation of a lead from Grum's track and a Sia remix of The Love You Feel. This is the original. <laughs> And this is the recreation. Now you can listen to both at the same time. I'm really, really, really happy with this recreation. It was a request that I had also here in one of my videos. So if you have any requests, feel free to leave it here in the comment section and you can grab this preset here in the description below. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you love it, hit the subscribe and leave me a comment if you like this recreation or if you feel that it could be better. If you want to support the channel, you can buy my preset pack available here in the top right corner or in the description below. Or you can also buy me a coffee available also here in the description below. But let's get down to business and let's get started with the sound design. So we're going to start here with an initial preset from Serum. You're going to choose two oscillators, oscillator A and oscillator B, and both are going to be saw waves. But oscillator B is going to be one voice of unison and the level is going to be all the way down. So basically it's just one at the moment. Oscillator A is going to be four voices of unison. The detune is going to be at 0 0.09. And the blend is going to be at 66. And the level is going to be at 71. And this is how it sounds like. It's the sound, but it's still pretty damn far from it. So what we're going to do is modulate this with envelope one. Envelope one is going to have an attack of 3.3 milliseconds. The decay is going to be at 2.02. .02. And the sustain is going to be all the way down to zero. The release is going to be at 203. And we're going to pick this handle over here and put it a little bit below the number one, just something like this. Now envelope two, we're going to use this to activate the oscillator B. So this is only going to do, well, this is going to, we're going to use this a little bit later as well, but at first we're just going to use this to activate the level of oscillator B. So we're going to put the sustain all the way down. The decay is going to be at 383. The attack is going to be at 5.6. 5.6, let's go. The handle is going to be a little bit in the middle of number one. And the release is going to be at 209. So we're going to use this in the level and we're going to put this to 83 over here, just so you can listen only oscillator B. Now with oscillator A as well. So it's just giving a little extra glimpse of attack to it. So again, without it, without, you can see that it has a little bit more of attack over there. And now to the filters, we're not going to use any kind of high cut filters. We're going to use a low cut filter. Actually, we're going to use the high 12. We're going to put the cutoff to 364. The resonance is going to be at zero, the drive at zero, the fat at zero. We're going to choose A and B. And it sounds like this. Without. You can see that it takes a little bit of the low mids and the low end over there. And this is important to the sound, but now we're going to the effects section to finish the sound, but starting with the hyper dimension, mix of the hyper all the way down, size of the dimension all the way down, and the mix of the dimension, we're going to put it to 21. And it sounds like this. You can see it opens up the sound just a little bit. Distortion, we're going to choose a soft clip. We're going to put the drive to 75%, but we're putting the mix to 19%. Now filter, we're going to choose an MG low six. We're going to put the cutoff to 97. The resonance to one and the wet, we're going to put it to 19. And we're going to do a lot of automation with this. We're going to choose envelope one. This is going to be at 55. Now envelope two, this is going to be at 33. This is going to intensify the attack a little bit. And we're also doing envelope three. Envelope three, we're going to put the decay to one point. Let's put it to three. 
yeah i think this is fine sustain we're gonna put it all the way down to zero the release we're gonna leave it at 15 and the modulation is going to be at 39 this is further going to intensify the attack of the sound without it It's just intensifying it a little bit. And because of all the level that we gain in this section, we're going to pick the master here and put it to 64%. Now in the EQ, chosen EQ, we're going to put the frequency of the bell, the first bell over here to 602. 600. The Q is going to be at 39%. And the gain is going to be at one. It's just a tad in the middle. just giving a little bit of extra body. And now we're gonna intensify it here at 6,377. The Q is going to be at 36, and the gain is going to be at 7.1. But we're using this as a bell curve. Now, with the reverb, this is where it's actually going to take the shape of the sound. Size 35%, the decay is going to be at 4.1, the low cut is going to be at 40%, the high cut is going to be at 35%, the spin and the spin depth as it is, and the dry wet is going to be at 32%. Pretty damn close for what we want, we just have one extra step, we're going to the matrix, envelope 3 and master tune, as you've seen me doing in a couple other videos, but we're gonna put this to 47. So it's going to be quite a drastic adjustment. This is further intensifying the attack of the sound. Just so you can listen without it. And with it. And that's it. We're only going to put here the level to 70%. And now if you listen to the original. It's pretty damn close. I'm really happy with this recreation. Again, if you want, you can grab the preset here in the description below. If you like, hit the like button. If you love this, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos from Abstract Music Lab. And I hope to see you in the next week in the next sound design recreation. Ciao.